Hey everyone, this is TB Shores. It is 1.17 p.m. on March the 1st, 2016. Before I get started, I would just like to ask if you would please lift me up in prayer. I've been a little under the weather and uh, I could use your prayers right now. But where we're going to go today is in Matthew 13. Uh, the Lord's been showing me some things in the parables. Um, I'm not sure exactly where we're headed with this. I've got some kind of idea, but sometimes I think I have an idea where the Lord's taken me with something, and then he, he takes me in another twist uh, in a different direction. So we're just going to see how, how, this, uh, how this goes, how he lays it out for me, okay, for us all. Uh, we're going to look right now at Matthew 13, 3 starting at Matthew 13, 3. And it says, And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them. And some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprang up because they had no deepness of earth, meaning they sprung up quickly because they didn't, um, they weren't buried deep. That way they, they come up quickly on the surface. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell into good ground, and both, excuse me, and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear? Let him hear. <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Uh, what I'm seeing here is, you know how I've been speaking about we we need to, to get deeper in the Word of God. We need to, to seek the deeper things of God. Getting rooted in the things of the Lord. Okay, being grounded in the things of the Lord. And I believe this parable clearly shows us an example of the Lord's thoughts on that very thing. Um, because we see the seed was sown. And we see that some. Let's see if I can find it right here. Where it talks about uh, some fell upon the stony places where they had not much earth. And forthwith they sprang up because they had no deepness of earth. Now, like I said, as I was reading that, that's about the seed not being deep in the soil. And about it being on the, like at the surface and it springs up immediately rather than having uh, being deep in the soil and growing up through the soil and and having roots that are buried within the soil okay so the the things that were the seeds that were on the surface sprang up quick because they did they weren't rooted okay and because of that when the sun was up they were scorched because they had no root they withered away and, you know, that's what the Lord keeps having me reiterate. If we are not rooted and grounded in the things of God, we cannot stand strong in his truth because we only know partial truths. Because those that are comfortable with the surface understandings, that's what this is referring to. Uh, you're not rooted. And, and when things get difficult, because you have no root, you will wither away. So that's why it is so important 
to get into the deeper things of God. Uh, and then it goes on to say, And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some in a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Okay, well, let's look back for just a moment about the fruit. Uh, remember how we had talked about this right here. For if these things be in you and abound, are in full supply, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of God. So it's all about being rooted in the word of God, being rooted in the Lord. Uh, I know I have I've said this so many times, but it's like the Lord just keeps having me to re-emphasize and re-emphasize because it's just not something that's sinking in. Um, many are happy with their surface understanding. Um, we're going to look for a minute from Father Down in Matthew 13, where this parable of the sower is explained. And it says, Hear ye therefore the parable of a of the sower, when any one heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. But he that receives the seed in two stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and a nun, which means at once, heareth the word, and at once with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. And we're seeing a lot of that going on right now. People being offended um, by things that are being brought out from the Word of God for these end times. Um, we have got to understand that these end times, it was meant for deeper things to be revealed. Things that God had not had revealed in times past. And if we can't open our mind to that and have faith, it's about having faith in the Lord, of what he is showing us and what he is teaching us. If you cannot have that faith in the Lord, it goes back to what we were talking about. Give me just a moment. Over here with Matthew 9, where we've seen... According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were open. The Lord can only open our eyes according to what we trust him for. If we don't believe that he will show us deeper things, if we don't believe there are deeper things to be known, and we don't come to him seeking it, then then it's not going to be shown to us. I, I just can't say that enough. And if you're not seeing it, maybe you need to go to him, put doctrine aside, and believe that he is able to open your eyes to the deeper things in his word. Because you're only going to receive according to your faith, be it unto you. It's right here in the word. And yes, I understand this is a physical healing of the blind that is being spoken here. But you've got to understand there's a physical and a spiritual application to everything about the Lord. If you cannot understand that, then you're going to miss a lot of things. Okay, we're going to flip back over here where we were at. Uh, we're going to look at, let's see, I guess it's... Yes, we were here at verse 23. 
But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. It goes back to what I was just talking about, about the more knowledge we have, the more fruitful we will be. Um, because we see clearly the Lord showing us the deeper things and the deeper understandings and the the deeper hopes that we can have because he showed us a bigger picture of what he has promised. You know, remember when we were over here in this scripture and it says, According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. How? Through the knowledge of him. Through the knowledge of him that hath called us, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. There are many promises that many of you are missing out on because you don't, you've not come to him and believe that he will show you these things. You're stuck on old doctrine. And I don't mean that in an insulting way. It's just that in the doctrines of, in the past, yes, we learned the milk. But we can't be content just to have the milk. We've got to seek the deeper things, the meat of the word. The, the deeper things that, that God has for us. Because like I said before, we cannot have hope and faith in something that we've not sought out. Okay? All right. We're going to go back over here to Matthew 13. We discussed the parable of the soul. Uh, I think what can be took away from this is clearly about being rooted. When you're rooted, you stand strong, okay? When you're not rooted, just as it spoke here, because they had no root, they withered away. If you're not rooted, you're going to wither away, fall away, okay? Because you, you've not got the deeper truths and the deeper promises of God to stand on because you cannot stand on and have faith in something you've not sought out. Okay? You can't, you're not going to believe in and have faith in and have hope in something that you don't understand. That is why it's so important that we seek the deeper things. Now, right now, um, I want to take us into some more of Matthew 13. Okay, now we're going to look at verse 10, Matthew 13, 10. And it says, And the disciples came and said unto him, unto the Lord, and unto Jesus. Jesus is speaking here. Uh, he was the one who spoke the parable. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Now remember, he's speaking to the multitude. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Did you hear that? Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Now what is a mystery? Mystery is something that's not easily known you've got to investigate you've got to seek it out okay clearly the lord has made it known in his word that we are to seek the things of the kingdom 
of heaven out. That's why it's called mysteries, okay? Uh, some more food for thought. There are several parables where Christ spoke that spoke of the sower, uh, that speak of um, the wheat and the tares. Uh, and we're going to talk about some of these things. But you've got to ask yourself a question if you if you do not believe in these harvests that um, is found deeper in the Word. You need to ask yourself a question. Is there a deeper reason why Christ spoke about the sower, the parable of the sower? There, and there's, um, I can't think of it just right off hand, but there's several parables that speak of sowing and reaping and harvesting. And we need to keep in mind everything that the Lord spoke, he spoke it with deeper meaning within. Um, I think as we get further into what I think he's leading us into now, you're going to see more how that applies. But I'm going to put this off right here and come right back. Bye-bye.